What's a chicken tater? I gotta see this. Hello, welcome to Jack in the Box. Do you like to try the new Smash Trap today? Not today. Uh, I actually tried it already. <laughs> I wanted to try out the returning chicken tater melt. I got a chicken tater melt, just a sandwich. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, DJ Steve. Right. Thank you. Have a good one. Now it's time to go try it. Here's the chicken tater melt. What kind of monstrosity is this thing? <laughs> what have they created here? Let's find out. Apparently people made a petition on change.org to bring this back. Today I discovered the chicken tater melt is no longer on the menu at Jack in the Box and it made me lose faith in humanity. I guess they got their wishes, all right? It's back. Enough of that, what's on it? The uh, chicken tater melt is gonna have a crispy chicken patty, hash brown patty, bacon smothered in a blend of three melty cheeses, ranch sauce, all on a croissant. Honestly, there's a lot going on with this little tater here. This has been somewhat of a seasonal item uh, since 2014 on Jack in the Box's menu. I'll answer the question on whether this should stay on Jack in the Box's seasonal menu, permanent menu, or maybe just be forgotten. The chicken tater melt is 960 calories. 960 calories. Yeah, I'm gonna be filling this one in the morning. Mm. A la carte, it's $6.49, so that's kind of pricey, just saying. Chick-fil-A prices and Popeye chicken sandwich prices are pretty close to that, although they specifically specialize in chicken sandwiches. Jack in the Box doesn't really specialize in anything these days. I mean, they got chicken wings, they got smashed, burgers which uh, i reviewed there's also cubes munchie box which includes a chicken tater melt a taco curly fries mini churros and a small drink and that all comes out to 12 dollars. now it's time to take this out of the wrapping and see if it's picture perfect all right let's throw that picture up there right off the bat here just going from the top of the bottom of the picture here uh, there's a lot of ranch sauce flowing down from the top of it and the one i have here not a single, oh, actually maybe a little tiny driplet of uh, ranch sauce right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, he really wants some, doesn't he? <laughs> I see the hash brown, of course, that is looking good. I can smell the grease <laughs> uh, coming off of this thing. And then we got the chicken patty there on the bottom. This one's just gonna get a B from me. I didn't get a combo or anything today, but I did pick up a Oreo shake. Yeah, let me just take a quick sip of this. This is not gonna help the uh, the calorie intake here, but uh, whatever. Jack in the Box, I think, does make a decent Oreo shake. It's close-up time. Just got a happy Jack face. So let's see if I can take this apart. Seeing some uh, nice ranch sauce on there. I'm not seeing any of the three cheese blend on there. Unfortunately, let me take some of this bacon off. There's a lot of cheese, but is it the three blend? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and uh, remove this. Ah, nope, that's not gonna happen. As you can see, it's starting to rip. Oh, uh, yep, that's not gonna really happen to you. Well, it is super greasy, so perfect. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit more ranch on the bottom, it looks like. And then we got the chicken patty, which uh, honestly does not look completely appetizing, but that's gonna do it for this one. Woo! All right, you know what time it is. I'm gonna go in for a couple of bites here, a couple of tacks here, do a rating at the end, and kind of do a rundown as well. I think this is a good spot right here. It's time to go in for the attack. Coke Zero. And there is the cross section. How saucy was it? You know, it was a little saucy. I don't think they put enough of the uh, cheese blend sauce. The hash brown is definitely the main component to this. It is so good and crispy. It's uh, greasy. <laughs> It's so greasy. I gotta say the chicken is not the best quality. It's like a frozen chicken patty that you would get um, and, you know, from the grocery store, throw it in the microwave and there you go. So I, I'm not even sure if it's fried or anything, but it's super thin. I love the croissants from Jack in the Box. They are always pretty good. Is this worth the hype? Hmm, I may be upsetting 2000 people <laughs> from that petition, but to me, it's not really worth the hype, especially for the calories that you're gonna be intaking with this thing. Mm. It doesn't pass the hype test to me, that's for sure. Does it work? Surprisingly, it does. You know, everything is working really well together. Should it remain limited? 
become permanent or be forgotten. It's got to stay limited. It's not something personally that I would want to go back again for. So definitely limited. Is it worth your time and money? I would say go ahead and give this one a pass. If there was a deal or something, I would definitely get it. Now it's time for the rating. I'm gonna rate the chicken tater melt from Jack in the Box. I've got to give it a 6.5. I just find it's lacking a certain something and I'm not quite sure what it is. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you're hungry for more, check this one out.